Hey, Shalom, good morning. <clears throat> I'm filming under the porch because it's going to be a hot one today. So I wanted to be kind of cool. And I know my latest video is about uh, grape wine and plum jam. Well, more, and someone said, you've got a lot of fruit going on there. A lot of the fruit going on here, we didn't plant. It, it's because of the father. And some of it, look at this, I got this little green bug climbing up my leg right now. Uh, some of it is because... We actually planted fruit, but that's in our orchard. The stuff that's around the house is all of the father. And I wanted to show you this morning. This looks terrible, I know. It's very, very wrinkled. <clears throat> but this is a passion fruit. And normally, when I have these in the video, it's a lighter green. Because, in my experience, when the passion fruit has been ripe, it falls to the ground. But for some reason, the ripe passion fruit are staying on the vine and so I picked this one today. I picked three but I've already eaten one and I gave one to the ducks to see if they would eat it and they didn't want to eat it which is too bad for the ducks because this stuff's delicious. So I showed you the vine earlier in the video. Uh, those are just a few of the passion fruit vines that are growing wild. Once we cleared this space everything that was in the ground here, all these vines that were running on the ground, they come up. So the blackberries come up and the grapes come up and these passion fruit came up. And the green ones you saw hanging there is the first thing I saw and I thought that is the weirdest looking weed. I don't know what that is and my goats loved it. They ate the snot out of it and um, I let them. I didn't know what it was. So they were eating vines on other parts of the property as part of their everyday forage. And then someone, and I can't remember who, said, oh no, that's, that looks like passion fruit. And then we tried it, and so it's been my end of the summer like breakfast food every year after that. So I just wanted to show you the inside too. It's got multiple seeds, and each seed are, has like a little wrapper around it. And that's what tastes really good. And I just swallow the seeds. I don't even chew them, I just swallow them. But I suppose you could run this through a food processor or a separator or something, get the pulp out. But the pulp is very small. But there it is. And that's what passion fruit, some kind of passion fruit, is being sold in supermarkets too. I'm sure it's a commercial variety. This is really tasty. Um, it's very refreshing. It's kind of sweet. But just like with the plums, with a hint of tart, like a little lemony undertone. And I haven't made jam, um, but my friend, who's at, oh goodness, what is his channel, Arky Homesteader, makes tea with the flowers of the vine, and they are the funkiest looking purple and white, they look like an alien flower, and that's passion flower tea, and then also has dried the leaves, and I've done that myself, and made passion leaf tea, passion fruit leaf tea. Um, and he, he swears by the, the flower tea. I haven't made it yet. Um, and the passion fruit tea was pretty good. Um, so that is this fruit. Uh, if you can get, I don't even know how it grows. I was going to say if you can get seeds for it. It's pretty tasty. And ours self-propagate all over the place. That's why I showed you the vines. Um, I'm, I'm not hawking uh, you know, the, the seeds of this thing or anything like that. I'm just telling you that it's out there. If you look up passion fruit, I think Google said there's 126 wild passion fruit vines that grow in America. So the chances are you probably have one somewhere near you. Uh, and the two that I know of that have grown on my property here, um, one is ripe when it's purple and it was smaller and I've only seen it once. And then there's this one that's ripe when it's yellow. Looks like a lime before then, but man, it's good. So it's probably worth your while to go out and look for it because it's ripe right now. Mm. <clears throat> so good. All right, thanks for watching. Bless you. Shalom.